coronavirus is known as one of the causative viruses of normal human nasal colds. That is, there were no viruses that cause serious illness in humans. Because, research in the medical field was limited. This lesson theme, this time is PCR testing method. Let's start. Polymerase chain reaction PCR is a principle for amplifying the deoxyribonucleic acid is a type of nucleic acid or a method using it. For a virus, at first, when extraction work and detection are required. For that purpose, it is necessary to convert RNA into DNA. Therefore, reverse transcriptase is used. It is a medicine reverse transcriptase PCR or root PCR. There is a root PCR method reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction, a PCR method for new viruses. But, since RNA is single strand, PCR cannot be performed as it is. Therefore, reverse transcriptase is used to perform a reverse transcription reaction on DNA using RNA as a template to synthesize DNA or complementary DNA. This is a test method in which PCR is performed using this DNA as a template. First, RNA separated and purified from the virus is called reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction, root PCR. and RNA is used as a template for reverse transcription. The generated DNA, complementary DNA, is a double-stranded DNA synthesized from RNA by a reverse transcriptase reaction using reverse transcriptase is subjected to PCR. In other words, it is necessary to convert RNA into DNA using an enzyme, so called as reverse transcriptase that has the function of synthesizing DNA using RNA as a template. Each cycle of DNA synthesis by PCR consists of three steps. Step 1 is heat denaturation, step 2 is annealing, at last, step 3 is extension. Then, I will explain one by one. First, in the first step, there is step 1. By heat denaturation, double-stranded DNA splits into a single strand. Then, in step 2, Annealing is a reaction in which a primer is bound to DNA that has become single-stranded by heat denaturation. Primers are artificially synthesized. In order for DNA polymerase to work in a replication fork, the DNA double strand is cleaved with helicase. And then a short a strand called as primer is first generated using single-strand DNA as a template that is needed to be synthesized. Finally, you can look the amplified genes which is detected. The difference in molecular weight is detected by the naked eye with an electrophoresis device. Or hybridization is performed using a synthetic DNA sequence called a probe complementary to the target gene, and in this case, that detection is performed by fluorescence emission or radioisotope. In other words, an affinity acts between complementary DNA sequences, and the target sequence binds to the probe to form a double strand. It is considered that the target gene region is used for the probe, which is a portion without mutation regardless of the type of coronavirus. That gene area is an important, so if that area is not normal, virus cannot grow. Or, if there is a mutation there, for example, it includes a region called as points required for cell junctions. However, there can be multiple small mutations in the same gene, which makes gene analysis more difficult. That is, the test accuracy deteriorates because the results such as false positives and false negatives occur. Currently, the mainstream method is called hybridization. That is, the inspection accuracy is poor. Furthermore, since there are many mutations in the coronavirus, it may be considered that even positive individuals are negative. 
The probe is usually a complementary sequence to the target gene. Open reading flame 1A or F1A and spike S are specifically detected in the PCR test of new coronavirus. SARS-CoV-2, which is a type of coronavirus that is the pathogen of the new coronavirus infection COVID-19. The above hybridization method typically is taken. This area is evolutionarily conserved because it is essential for virus growth. In other words, if there is a mutation in this part of the gene, it cannot grow. We are targeting that point right now.